<sighs> Cookie Clicker, currently available on Steam for four dollars and ninety-nine cents. This is the original. I can't believe I'm making a video on this, but I have to because I have logged so many hours of time, uh, not just AFKing in this game, but actively playing it, actively trying to progress, actively trying to unlock more uh, achievements so I can get my percentage. There's so there's just so many numbers. They give you so many numbers that you can play with. And that's, I think, what the, where the draw is. If you're somebody that likes to just have numbers, just like, you know, not necessarily flying over the screen, but just like mentally, just kind of like flipping all over the place, uh, then this is the game that you want. Like, you're looking at this, and, and this is like, there's so many different avenues, so many different ways. And each one of these, like, layers here represents uh, a different type of uh, cookie generating uh, building or structure. Um, you have a bunch of upgrades that you can get. Right now, you don't hardly see any because I've kind of reached the end of this run. Uh, I have a whole bunch of winklers here, or wrinklers, uh, that are slowly chipping away at my uh, cookie. Uh, and each one of them are pulling a slightly larger percentage than what they are, than what I am generating, which even though I'm working at a deficit here at 448 decillion, which I think my full un unwrinkler, like all these wrinkles are gone, I'd probably be at like a million or something like that. Um, I could also click and get some cookies if I wanted to. You don't even really have to click at all, actually, just to, just so you guys know. You don't, a, a cookie clicker does not necessarily mean you have to click. Initially, when you get started, I'd recommend it because you need to unlock a lot of stuff. Um, but once you get into it, I mean, you're not really clicking. You're, you're kind of like, you're kind of like city building. <laughs> <laughs> but every building generates the same product, uh, which maybe that's the draw here. So let me give you a tour real quick. So like I said, each one of these tiers here represents a visual, it's a visual representation of each one of these here. Now it's not necessarily just a duplicate, that'd be a waste of space. Uh, some of these actually have a behind the scenes here, like a separate tool, a secondary usage. Um, here you can plant seeds for a certain amount uh, and then come back and you'll get a certain percentage of CPS. You'll see that reference reference a lot that means cookies per second um i don't use the garden that much uh because it's just like it's that's a lot of management i like to just kind of have things kind of cruise uh we get a stock market here i know that jordan uh will be from the community uh, jordan banana from the community he is uh doing something with it i don't know how this works <laughs> but there's i mean there's a there's a there's a lot of uh, commodities here that you can uh, go through and trade if you want uh the pantheon here this is basically just a um a, a measure that lets you uh, add kind of overall buffs. So actually, I don't plant this here. Watch my in the upper left corner. Watch up here the five four forty eight. Once I plant this thing, that's gonna jump up to five sixteen. So it gets a boost fifteen percent if it's in the first slot, the diamond slot. If it's in the ruby slot, it's gonna be uh, ten percent, and then five percent if it's in the emerald slot. So. And then you only have so many swaps you could do in any certain amount of time as well. So you're kind of like limited. You can't just sit there and hot swap these things all together. Some of them have different triggers. So like this one, if you click on a golden cookie, which is a random cookie that spawns, it gives you like a certain, like maybe uh, your your clicks are multiplied by 777. So you're sitting there clicking for like 30 seconds or your overall production goes up by a certain percentage for two minutes. Uh, well, if you click on one of those, then this will be unslotted and all of your swap points will be gone. Um, here, the grimoire. This is my favorite. Here, you get this. You get the uh, the, the to wizard towers built up, and now you have a bunch of spells to work with. So you see, there's. It's not just clicking, right? You're not just buying buildings and then clicking, right? <laughs> you're 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 kind of trying to like you know kind of trying to manage this and try to create kind of a, a build efficiency here. Um, so. <clears throat> Everything down here below this, there's no secondary. I don't think any of these. Yeah, yeah, none of these have any secondaries or whatever. So what I usually end up doing is just kind of muting, just basically going through mute, 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 mute. Just kind of clean things up. I don't use a stock market, so I'll mute that. Uh, factory mute, and then mute, and then also this. So now it keeps it nice and clean. Um, <clears throat> and over here, yeah, we can just go through and just buy the things we need. So we'll just, we'll just do, oh, damn. Okay, I'm gonna try to buy two more of these because it'll give me an achievement. Once I get an achievement, if you look over here, Here's all the achievements here. Uh, you can see I still have a few left uh, to go through. And you see, how, you see how they cascade? It's because each one of these has like where it progresses. So I have to find, there's another combination here. Like for example, for the, the portals, uh, it goes from 
let me see make make x okay so make 10 success these are make x number in order to get an achievement right with just these portals and these ones progress up from having x number so this must be like probably 450 500 550 600 i'm guessing so there's these achievements will contribute to the milk percentage right and the milk percentage here kitten multiplier right uh gives you 660 uh point two zero three million percent increase in how much your milk generates i know this is very like this it seems silly but like i told you at the beginning there's a million different avenues to make uh cookies you just have to figure out which one is gonna be the most efficient per run um and there's lots i mean there's tons of other badges and all kinds of unlocks and everything my prestige these are all my talent skills and everything i'll show you that in a minute because we're gonna blow, blow this up um i have a a mod that's been uh, uh, managed by machine x7 uh I, I have not used it this run because this was kind of a quick run uh but basically put sunday in the game and you could pet sunday and she'll eventually is just happy now and then oh she's mad she'll scratch you oh she's indifferent and so you'll lose like a 387 you'll lose a percentage of your cookie uh production but you'll unlock these uh, uh these achievements or these uh, um these skills or whatever uh to to, to basically help her <laughs> recover her uh recover faster she's not so angry all the time have a higher maximum contentment uh, <laughs> uh and she'll eventually she'll give you like gifts and like, a decent amount of cookies too um very just a very and lots lots of achievements so yeah just a very cool mod thank you machine x for doing that uh this dragon here you can uh sacrifice certain buildings and such to unlock these special upgrades uh, then you can swap out depending on how you want to do things. I have the kitten multiplier, which is um, um, um uh, what is this one? Uh, all yeah, all cookie all cookie production multiplied by two. Like that's huge. So that one's in, and then I have the other one, which is the uh, the kitten, which basically just increases the amount of milk that uh, the, the 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 amount of cookies that uh, the milk uh, generates. So we could see it here. Here you go, five percent more effective. Uh, and now swapping those costs, it'll cost me one Idleverse, which is, you can see, is very, very expensive. So I do have, like I said, I do have a whole lot of these Winklers, and there's a couple ways I can get rid of them. I can double tap or triple tap them, and it'll, it'll, it'll award me. I mean, I have 20, that'll give me, what, 27? That gave me a lot right there, right? Okay. Each one of these is loaded. So watch as I go from 27 Duodecillion to some stupid number here. Boop, 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 boop. 300 do a decillion. I got I got achievement uh, that just adds to the percentage. So now I'm at one three two three undecillion uh, per second. I can click on this uh, on my spells. I click on any one of my spells if I wanted to, um, to in order to uh, increase uh, or to, to you know either to summon a cookie, which would tri which will trigger this. when I'll do that, or that will summon a half hour worth of my CPS. Um, I have this one right here, which will buy a random building that you couldn't normally afford. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna blow this up so i'm just gonna try to squeeze out a couple of uh just a couple more achievements before we do that wait what is going on in the background here oh i don't know what that is i so i had the graphics turned down so there's some things that i didn't, didn't notice before like there's a biscuit or something behind here on the cookie i have no idea <laughs> what is that anyways uh let's see is there any eggs let me see eggs uh let's see upgrades i don't want to necessarily spend on all these upgrades it's just a waste of money when i can buy a one two there we go okay now we have it nobody exists on purpose nobody belongs anywhere tricentennial so what's nice is these achievements uh these achievements carry over so when i start the next match uh i'm gonna be off i'm gonna be off running like just just making tons and tons and tons of uh of cookies uh so cool so 350 so can i get another 10 in here and we see if i get 10 Two tens. See one. Ooh, ooh. Come on, come on. Just one more achievement. Oh, so forty-two. What is it? Okay, let's do this. Let's go ahead and kill all of these. Boop. And then we see it's nineteen. Do a decillion. Uh, I need forty-two. So let me see if I can't. Um, oh, this one gave me a small percentage there. Uh, let me, maybe I'll get lucky with this. This will give me one building that has that's under four hundred, under four hundred counts. Um, that that could buy with twice my money. So I can't quite afford this one yet. So I gotta let I gotta I gotta I gotta build that number up a little bit. <laughs> let me see. Uh is there somewhere else I can uh, squeeze eek out just a little bit more? No, it doesn't look like it. Um hmm. Do we wait for that? Oh I know what we'll do. I got it, I got it. Let's do this. Let's sell. Let's sell like a hundo of these. There we go. And then we'll turn around and buy. Oh, I didn't I didn't sell for anything. <laughs> Let's sell a hundred of, let's see, undecillion, do it a cillion. Here we go. 
So what does a six do to Cillian? Uh, I see chance maker. Okay, I need the chance makers. Um, let me see. Here we'll do this. We'll sell a hundred of the hundred of those. That'll give me enough, right? Do it a Cillian. Is that really not enough to sell a hundred of those things? Just to buy one? Oh, that's crazy. Wow. Shit's expensive. All right. Well, let's sell then. Uh, let's sell a hundred of these. That should definitely give me enough, right? Yeah. There we go. Uh, we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna blow this up anyway, so it doesn't matter. This is not the right way to do things. <laughs> Just tanking my CPS. Uh, we'll do this. Boom, we get achievements. And then we're good. So now, uh, let's go ahead and fire this just to see what it, what it picks. It should pick one of these three here. There we go. Yay. All right. And then the rest can just go into whatever because we're just gonna blow it up. So let's go. Okay, let's buy. Let's buy ten. I think alt. I think. No shift. Yeah. No alt. No control. There we go. There we go. And we'll just spend all of our all of our cookies as many as we can. Any achievements we could get before we log off. Oh wow, this is actually getting. Oh, three thirty-five. Okay. Um. And then that's it. I think we're good. Do, 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 do. And then we're locked in. That's it. So now, now we have 5 billion prestige points. This is where you're going to learn how these things are applied. We're going to legacy. We're going to say yes. It's going to explode. There it goes. All right. So this is my talent tree. Very POE. <laughs> uh, but in this case, you want to unlock basically all of them. There's no specialization or anything. So I have 5 billion uh, heavenly chips and uh, those are my prestige points that I get uh, once you start once you start playing and generating and creating cookies you start to unlock these prestige points when you first start playing the game it's gonna take a long time to get like one or two or three but then after a while you're cranking out billions like the numbers scale exponentially uh, so I have a couple the couple options here what, I, what I've been doing is doing these short runs and when it gets to the point to where I'm basically leaving the game open all night uh, to generate any kind of revenue uh, I'll just basically kill the run and then start over uh, so 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 this setup here, or sorry, so so far it's it's, it's in, I'm in pretty good shape, um, but let's go over some of these so you can see what they do. Uh, so let me see. We'll start at the beginning. Uh, the first one is unlock. You know, the, the heavenly chip, unlocks heavenly chip system. Each time you ascend the cookies you made in your past life, turn into heavenly chips and prestige. So that's where we're at right now. Uh, and you have subsequent research will be ten times faster. Uh, this is uh, research done by the grandmas. The grandmas will. Well, you'll just find out. Uh, Inspire checklist unlocks the buy all feature. Some of these are like quality of life things you're unlocking. Uh, like, for example, some of them, they, um, uh, they, uh, this right here, extra price information. So it'll tell you how long it'll take for you to unlock the next, uh, the next upgrade, which is very, very handy. If you notice some of the tool tips that I was showing you guys, you can see, um, <clears throat> how long it would take. It would say like one day of CPS or one 30 seconds of CPS. That's so handy. Instead of doing the math in your head because your cookie count per second is constantly changing constantly changing so you want you having that having something that just tells you how long you have to wait it's so handy uh so i have yeah i have five billion here let me see what i can spend it on uh label printer mouse over upgrade to see its tier there we go um here we go let's see uh, so cookie production multiplier plus five percent permanently and one percent for every building type level 10 or higher so let's go ahead and go this direction and we'll do the grandma thing let me see bifurcated uh five percent more often and our five percent like to drop two lumps uh let me see the lumps are basically just like uh almost like uh, skill point upgrades for each individual building let me see i can't afford either of these god i gotta wait till nine billion jesus christ okay let's go ahead and hit this and then let's see um can't afford any of these you see how the numbers go up so you basically start off with you know let's see let's get back to the beginning here so you start off with one and then three and then 25 50 Five thousand, forty-four thousand, four hundred forty-four thousand, six point six million, one hundred million, two hundred million, one billion, three hundred thirty-three billion. So you see what I'm talking about? How the numbers just start to build exponentially. <laughs> Let's go and get this one because getting those sugar lumps faster is nice because you can use those to refill consumables, like for example, magic mana, right? So if you use your wizard tower and you run out of mana, you could pop one of these sugar lumps in there. They generate every 24 hours and initially you only get one per 24 hours, but eventually you can unlock like more robust sugar lumps, uh, like a meaty lump that will, um, uh, that they'll give you more, uh, like two or zero. Actually, it's kind of just actually chance based. Let me see, uh, there we're going to put these wherever we can right now. Cause we can't really put them in very many places. So we're actually going to leave with a good chunk of these ready to go. This is really nice. Actually, these permanent upgrades. I wish I didn't get this one. Um, can I change this out? Let me see. The milk one is the best. B 
because the milk one is just a flat upgrade. Let me see. You could put and you could slot. These are all upgrades you buy while you're playing, right? So being able to slot one when you first start is so handy. So this one, you gain more CPS, more milk you have. So there we go. Um, you see, place over to permanent, makes permanent across all people. Add a sip telling fingers. All this does is basically make it um, uh, your 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 fingers. You know those cursors that are floating around the cookie make those a bit more uh, uh, potent per click. Let's see, uh, yeah, Sunday, I could buy all the Sunday upgrades if I wanted to, make Sunday a beast right off the, right off the get-go. Uh, Octillion's cool, so we have all the top tier milk, so this, I'm gonna start off freaking running, like this is gonna be crazy. Um, boom, 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 this sounds funny, cookie clicker, this is gonna be crazy, oh man, <laughs> strap in, boys and curls. All right, here we go, reincarnate, we get back into the mortal world, they call it, and I'm already starting off with 12,290 per second, so watch as I unlock my prestige level, it's gonna be, it's gonna be, it's gonna, this percentage represents this right here, it says, um, your prestige level is 8,376 billion, or 8.376 billion, so this number keeps on unlocking more and more and more and more like there's five and then 10 and then 25 and then 50 and then 100 percent and that number is going to grow stupid amounts which is why these subsequent playthroughs end up going so quickly so hit this uh actually this is going to buy all the upgrades so just going to hit the buy all button boom there we go okay i'm going to go for the prestige one so you guys can see how valuable this prestige is there's another one and then you know, they're kind of a blue uh have a blue aura to them what is it 75 percent and then, <laughs> you can already see it's taken up. 1.09 billion. I think that's it, actually. Was that 100%? Um, there might be another one showing up here. Uh, but, no, it doesn't look like it. So, yeah. So, now I'm at 1 trillion just off of those upgrades. And, of course, the milk upgrades. But, look, I have more milk upgrades because I unlocked the higher tier ones. Uh, the lower tier ones are still accessible. So, if I do a milk upgrade here, 2.61 trillion from 1 trillion. Uh, another milk update here. Uh, 7.623 trillion. Uh, this is gonna be done in four seconds. Uh, oh, it's already done, I guess. Okay, oh, it's not Sunday. Okay, we'll come back to Sunday in a second. There we go, 25 trillion. And let me see, and then we'll go unlock Sunday. We'll go unlock Sunday, that's fine. She doesn't do anything but sit here in the corner. We click on her a little bit, get some good pets. You can see how much, see how many we're getting from her. She's gonna be mad, she's gonna be mad. Let's let her get angry, it's fine. <laughs> I'm making so many cookies right out of the matter. And then there's just a ton of other eggs. Ton of other eggs. We'll go buy all upgrades and watch that number 8.89 trillion. Oh, which is actually hampered because Sunday scratched me. Uh, so let's go ahead and go anyways. 43 trillion. So now it's cranking. I haven't bought a single a single building yet. Uh, but again, like this is what your this is your subsequent playthrough is gonna be like. Uh, so I think we're getting to the we're getting to the point here where we can just start. Uh, putting points into or, or buying actual buildings. Uh, I try to get this thing started try to get as high as I can uh, And then buy like a bunch of wizard towers because that's what I want for the spells, right? So I'll go wizard towers uh, Oops, that was a temple. I need that anyways, and that money doesn't really mean anything right now. So <laughs> It costs me nothing to do that uh, Let me see. So now we can start putting we start slotting some stuff So let's take a look at these golden and wrath cookie duration I think we're gonna rely heavily on, on golden cookie wrath uh, golden cookies if they actually start showing up let me see. Buildings produce 10% more. Milk is 10% more powerful. Let's put that in. Bam! 92 bajillion. I've lost track already. Uh, buildings produce 10% more. Sugar lumps ripen faster. All buildings are cheaper. It might be a good one to get started. 5% cheaper. Okay, we'll make them produce a little bit more. So now, yeah, see now it's 6.15 hours. I could have waited on those last two and I got another point um, added, but... Uh, fine here we go so now building up some magic here we could we could roll the dice here cast a random spell at half the magic cost and twice the chance of backfire let's click that see what happens stretch time no buffs to alter okay let's try again too bad magic refunded let's try again get another one diminished ineptitude ineptitude diminished so here we go spells backfire 10 times less for the next five minutes unfortunately it's gonna take about a good five minutes for this number to get up <laughs> high enough for me to use any spells but this is a good one actually that's good uh and it costs us half Cost us half. Look at all these upgrades we could get. Uh, and we see more CPS. 301. What a huge jump. What a huge jump. Another one here. 1.321. That went from 300 to 1.321 sextillion. And then let's go and buy the rest of these. 100 sextillion. Buy some more. And then buy some more. Like it's just, not, it's just you're basically just, just cranking these things out right now. Um, so over here, we can buy some Addle Versus just to go and get this started. This is going to be very costly, but it's also going to give us a whole lot of uh, a CPS boost for S766 Altillion. And then this is this is where the game goes from here, right? You just basically go through it. You start buying more upgrades and start planning some more stuff. You can activate seasons, which give you special cookies. Let's activate uh, Easter. Oh, I can't do that yet. Uh, but you can activate different seasons, and then you'll get special cookies, and then you can unlock uh, per run. So it resets every run. Um, 
Uh, let me see. I'm just going to keep on cranking this up here. The goal for me has been, you kind of set these like small goals, which is why I've been playing it for so fucking long, is that you you, you start like I'm already kind of cranking, oh, we're cranking up these uh, prestige points. Um, but yeah, some of the small goals that I'd have is like, let me try to get all of these above 400 so every time I activate that spell, it only gives me my most expensive, the only one available is the most expensive one. Uh, but what, like I said, once you get to, you'll get to a point where you're not making enough cookies to, in your lifetime, like look at this, 4.4 4. 4 million days in order to unlock this um, next upgrade at the current CPS, right? At the current CPS is important. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, you, you basically want to crank that number up uh, by just buying as many of these other things as possible. So I'll go like here and here and here, just kind of crank some of these out, just kind of keep these numbers up here uh, moving. And then we'll see that number was a 4.4 million, right? Let's see where it's at now. Uh, let's buy all these upgrades too. And now it's at uh, 775 days. No, oh, it's this one. So, okay, here we go. 775, uh, a thousand days. That's a big difference, difference, right? Like that's a huge, <laughs> a huge jump. Uh, but again, that's something that you unlock and those numbers are very, like I said, very valuable. So you might just unlock those first or something. Uh, no, I'm definitely, if I would, if I were you, I would go and unlock the things that would give you those initial, that initial, initial CPS boosts, like the permanent unlocks uh, that I showed you that had all the kittens slotted in them. That's, that's the way to go because then you start off and running. Like I do these runs, now, uh, basically in like one day, it's like one, one day, you know, I basically wake up, I'll spend everything just like I just did today. And then I will, uh, blow it up and then start over. And then by the next morning I have a few, you know, hundred million, or like in this case, I'm in the billions tomorrow. I'll probably have like 10 or 20 billion. Um, and the number will keep on going up exponentially. I just want to unlock everything. That's the whole point of the game. You just, you keep on unlocking stuff. That's it. Um, and so I basically keep on dumping points into this stupid thing. Keep on dumping time into the stupid thing. Keep on unlocking. Keep on clicking. And then you close it and you go do something else for a little while. Then you come back and you check on it. And I've been doing this. I've been working on photography stuff and just coming over and checking on things just constantly. Here we go. I haven't showed you guys this yet. This one, sacrifice a million cookies. Sacrifice two million cookies. Another one. Chip it. Chip it. Here we go. Here we go. Train breath of milk. Kittens are 5% more effective. 16 million cookies. That's no problem. And then we can go here and say breath of milk. Bam. There we go. Now we have a kitten we have more uh, percentage here but now it wants more 100 cursors well, let's do this let's make this a little bit easier for us let's go ahead and go 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 100 whoops okay 100 100 100 all the way down as far as again we'll go back again you have 200 let's keep on going let's keep it going let's see again let's skip over the ones we keep on accidentally adding there we go everything's at 300 i'm also take that out to 400 whoops <laughs> 400 400 and now now we're starting to reach a, a breaking point here where we're not able to really afford a hundred at a time but we have a million upgrades to buy so now it's up by all oh call the cookie oh okay it just gave me a flat amount i'd much rather have the cookie action the clicking action uh especially early on in the game so we'll go buy all upgrades bam I, i'm not even keep see I, i've already lost track of where we're at numbers wise um but we have a lot <laughs> Oh, here we go. Let's go check on this. Let's, let's, let me see. Uh, 139,428 days. See? It's coming down. It's coming down. But we have some sacrifices to make. The Shimmering Well disappears. Yeah, we broke it. So, uh, so I sacrifice 100 farms, 100 mines, 100 factories, 100 banks. I sacrifice 100 temples, 100 wizard towers, 100 shipments, 100 alchemy labs, 100 portals, 100 time machines, 100 antimatter condensers, 100 prisms, 100 chance makers, 100 practicals, 100 ja ja JavaScript, whatever. And then, of course, some idle verses, 50 of every building, 200 of every building. Okay, we got to buy some more buildings here. Let's see. Boom, 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 boom. Dun, dun, dun. It wants 200 of every building for reals. That's going to be that's a tall order because I don't even have 200 down here. Hmm, let me see if I can squeeze this out and get this number up. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh, okay. I should get my hand out of my pocket and buy the last two there. There we go. 200. So now my dragon's fully trained. I have two slots that I can use. This is where I would slot the other one, which is all cookie production multiplied by two. That's now up to 523 non-alien. And now we go back to buy all the stuff that we sold because now we're making bank in terms of cookie production. Uh, so there we go. And this is this is where you this is where you go for the rest of the day. This is what you do. You just basically start, just leave, just leave it alone. Come back, 
check on it every once in a while uh, and then tomorrow morning or later tonight whenever you want you start this process over again this was about probably 30 minutes of my morning uh, usually when I'm eating coffee and checking the news and all that stuff I'll just re I'll just basically refresh this start over spend some more points etc etc and now look we're already back up and now we're getting 215 decillion cookies per second and that's nothing that's nothing really is uh once you get in once you get into the, the in the long run it's just it really ain't shit so 250 oh, smack that again oh, 231 decillion so that's cookie clicker right it's clicker uh it's 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 been around since 2000 like 12 13 something like that uh they've been developing it ever since there's a million different very very hilarious um uh uh, uh, uh achievement names <laughs> like they're just running out of ideas and just put all kinds of random shit in there uh and it's hilarious like the game's got a lot of personality uh and it's a great like run in the background kind of game like you know a clicker an idler uh it's something that a lot of people in the community are playing right now it's actually one of the number one games it beats final fantasy 14 regularly uh it will beat world of warcraft uh because world of warcraft doesn't show up in the top 10 uh for us half the time anymore uh and there's uh there's some see back i was like oh cool let's put uh let's put some grass Grandma's back there. There we go. There we go. Such such sweet grandmas. Yeah, the grandmas are the sweetest. Yeah, they're they're they come in very handy in your in, in game too, by the way. So uh so that's it. <laughs> Listen, I've made I've made videos on Farmville, okay? So this is not below me by any stretch. I put a lot of time into this fucking game. You guys deserve to hear about it. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Mike B, aka Phony. This is fucking cookie clicker. Goodbye. <laughs>